sustainability means a lot of different things to a lot of different people, but it, it really is uh, uh, when you're talking in the terms of uh, a city's development, it's how a city can work uh, over the long term. It's also about really thinking about the well-being of people and uh, making sure that the quality of life that they have is, is significant. So I think sustain is actually um, sort of the basic level, but, but we want to go beyond that and, and, and enrich. Uh, so to me, sustainability means that you're providing an optimum quality of life. Anyone who is thinking about um, sustainability has to think about how do you sustain um, cultures you live in and other cultures so that you create an atmosphere where future generations can live in a, a way that sustains their cultures and, and the values that they, they uh, believe in. I envision a sustainable New York where you could hear lots of birds in lower Manhattan, not by the water, like on Wall Street, where things would be a lot quieter. You'd, you'd have less traffic issues and result in air pollution. Uh, I think that's a really critical issue here in New York because of our density. What's important is that, uh, that people have bicycles, they use bicycles to go to the park, they, they have metro cards they can use to go to, uh, to work on the subway, they have uh, their feet they can use to go shopping in their neighborhood. One thing that has got to happen in this city is, is a more integrated system between the, the various modes of public transportation the buses, the subways, finding ways of connecting to other systems like the ferry systems, um, certainly the commuter rails. The mayor is also very, very interested in the whole notion of a healthy city. So he's been very uh, proactive regarding uh, nutrition. And also there's a wonderful task force that's looking into um, promoting active design in the city. So designing and planning to promote physical activity, whether it be the use of stairs, playgrounds, bike lanes, ways that people can move and be active. So a healthy city, I think, is a really important part of that question as well. Creating the right balance is the most important thing, I think. You know, and it's a balance within different transportation modes. It's a balance between uh, transportation systems and urban development. Most people intuitively understand that um, public transportation, mass transportation, is inherently sustainable. It's moving and providing access for um, many more people for the same cost, the same resources as can be moved by uh, private vehicles, for instance. So, in and of itself, it's sustainable. There was a way to really optimize um, alternative forms of transportation in the city and promote uh, effectively the, a way to reduce uh, vehicle use, both private cars, taxis, anything that really generates a lot of noise and conflict. In recent years, uh, there's been a real effort to try to um, even improve on the sustainability, and that happens in many ways. Um, in the bus system, you can uh, obviously use alternative fuels. You can um, find ways to make the vehicles more efficient. And it all fits within a sustainability uh, framework from the uh, environmental point of view that, uh, that your uh, that water is retained, it doesn't flow into the river uh, right away, uh, that, that you've got permeable soil and permeable pavement. You're, uh, fitting within the whole environmental eco-structure of the city, which it's, sometimes it's uh, hard to imagine that New York, for all its asphalt, is, is really part of uh, nature.